Yes, yes, I know it's been a long time since the last video on the donut cart build, but there were good reasons. Mostly, there were just too many interesting distractions, but also I was trying to figure out what I needed and how to take the next step. For instance, it took a while to find some single leaf springs, and then it took another while for them to arrive and then figure out how to connect them to the cart and enough wheel axles. I don't even know what these are called, but I'm calling them spring brackets. And I cut them out of three inch timber offcuts. The router did most of the chamfering. I only had to finish off the tricky bits. The spring shoes are designed to be welded on, I think, but I drilled some holes instead and just screwed them on. The front pair have to include a turntable so the cart can go round corners. So I had to reduce their height a bit and then cut a recess for a plank of ply. I used heavy duty exterior ply for this because it has to take a lot of twisting and pulling. It's trailer bed plywood and very expensive, but it's good stuff and probably necessary. Everybody, this is Lazy Susan. I hope she will be strong enough. It says it'll take £1,000, but presumably that's £1,000 of vertical pressure, not the forces involved in pulling a cart like this out of a pothole. Curiously, all the holes were too small, but after I had drilled them out a bit, I put lots of screws in to give it as much support as possible. Screwing on the other side is done through a hole in the plank. And again, lots of screws went in. The two surfaces meet at the edges when there's enough pressure on one side. I could put an extra block in here to fill that gap, but I think I'll just grease it up and watch what happens. It can't flex more than a few millimetres and that's not going to open up the bearing. The axles are galvanized steel pipe. <clears throat> I used a cone drill to make some holes in it and then just ran a bolt through the pipe and the spring. And here's the front axle set. It turns, so I guess it's called a dolly or a bogey. Lock nuts hold things together front and back. You can see the movement the end of the spring makes as it's squashed. So now we get to the interesting bit. Me struggling to get that bogey into position just confirmed that the superstructure is just too heavy and there's plenty more to go on board as well. This cart has to be maneuverable by hand up ramps and curbs and onto the trailer. So I need a major rethink of the materials I have used so far, and then a partial rebuild, I guess. That half inch ply is just too heavy. But what can I replace it with that is rigid and light? Hmm. And finally, the wheels can go on. They'll be held on with spring pins. I couldn't think of anything else that weighs less that would do the job. And these ones are very springy. These axles will all get greased up when I'm finished, but for now I'm just checking that it all goes together. Without tyres on the wheels, it's hard going on this rough concrete floor, but everything seems okay so far. I had no idea what to use for a drawbar, but I opted for some more of that three-quarter inch ply because it's easy and quick. It's going to have to take uh, lots of pressures on it as the cart gets pulled and pushed into place. So I left this piece pretty chunky. I'll probably use cord to tie it on eventually, but for now I'm using a couple of cable ties and attaching it directly to the axle. Basically, I'm hoping that when I pull the drawbar and the bogey, then the rest of the cart and the other set of wheels will follow along behind. Either that, or we're in big trouble. 